Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In uh, today's video, uh, I want to talk about 3D. Well, when I exactly say 3D, uh, what uh, what exactly am I talking about 3D? 3D is such a big topic. Uh, but in my case, uh, it so happened that I like also some besides programming, I also do uh, I it's it's a hobby to learn about 3D animation and how 3D works in general, uh, what exactly is 3D and with those kind of things. So I first became acquainted with a 3D animation program called as 3D Studio. I think that was way back in around 97 or 96 maybe. So that was the first time in my life I saw a application. Uh, I think it was made by Autodesk at the time. And yeah, so it was 3D Studio. So I thought, okay, I don't know how it works. So what is keyframe? What are these 3D models? What exactly is 3D? Well, a lot of time has passed. So once again, when I was free, so I thought maybe it's, uh, why not uh, uh, learn some new techniques in 3D and besides my C++ programming, maybe I can uh, start creating some uh, short, short 3D films or something of, uh, can I do something around that? And can it be in mixed with C++? So I'll come to the problem, which I'll describe what exactly is the problem. But let me first show you a small video, which I created uh, in using 3D. So when I say 3D, you can see how the camera pans, how it uh, rotates and other stuff. Uh, let me play a short video. I'll also put a link in the description. And then I'll describe the, the situation here. What exactly is this video going to be about? Maybe you will find this useful. Maybe not, but um, maybe as I said, I mean, since it's not going to be longer than 15, 16 minutes, so maybe it will be a useful 15, 16 minutes. Okay, let me play this video for you and I'll then explain it to you what I'm talking about and what problems are we going to be solving and what uh, what exactly is uh, C++ uh, and Qt got to do with all this. So let me play this video on my YouTube channel. Well, I mean, as you just saw, it's a short film. You can see, you can watch it again, but you will get the idea that the the camera is panning and is uh, rotating around uh, the main character. So where did I get it from? We have logged on to the Mixamo website. So as you can see, so don't worry, even if you are not a 3D animator or anything, it's, it's nothing complicated, but I'll just explain the problem. So here you have two options called as characters and animations. So basically the idea is you can go into the characters, select anything you want. 
so in my case i had chosen one of the characters from uh, this uh, site so you can choose any anything really i mean whatever so this is a character which i chose timmy but let's say i mean uh, you may want uh, for example uh, let's choose something different to show you what i mean so say uh yeah why not michelle so let's choose michelle so we see you can you can see michelle here and then the next step is you can go into animations and then then various animations which are available here so various different kinds of whether it's uh dancing a zombie uh, and as you can see hip hop dancing strut walking jumping down punching so let's say uh hip hop dancing so if i select hip hop dancing you will notice that the character which you have chosen will start to dance so you can choose any character and you can apply any type of animation to it so there are different animations available happy sad and those kind of things well then uh, once you have this animation uh, what do you exactly do with it i mean so what you can see it on the website but uh, how do you make a movie out of all this i mean yeah okay so fine uh, we have seen it on the website what do we do well all you have to do is just go and say download it so when you download it it all the animation uh, stuff is in the format i mean uh, one of the most uh, popular format for animations is fbx made by autodesk or is it uh, it's also obj as well which is made by wavefront i'll repeat that again fbx and obj so you can download your animation file and then you can use it accordingly in a proper uh, 3d animating uh, software which uh, for example one of them can be cinema 4d where you can animate it you can have 3d scenes and what not but this is just a beginning so but these are 3d models now fbx is a 3d model so i have many such models and most of the people around the, who work with 3d and other stuff they also have many such models lying around on their hard disk so when um, so if i i wanted to view those models i think now you are getting the hint now so i searched and there was a program called as autodesk fbx review a fantastic application i downloaded that i'll show it to you running so let me minimize that and here it is fbx review all you have to do is just uh, select your fbx file or obj file and for example uh, just uh, drag it to the application and you can see for example i have loaded the apache helicopter model and it shows me that so now you can see this is a nice application made by autodesk which allows you to view your uh, so i have various files for example i have uh, say shelby car model as well let me drop it here so remember well, this uh, uh, this application is made by autodesk this fbf fbx review which allows you to browse your 3d models which you have on your computer so the idea is you launch the application you can drag any file to it and uh, it will show you that model fantastic works perfectly fine i mean as i said very good piece of software so well uh, what has that got to do with us i mean uh, what exactly i am well i thought the problem with this uh, user interface was for example i wanted to select the list of files which needs to be shown on the left hand side once i click on it i need to see the model because i may have thousands of models on my hard disk i don't want to be going into each folder and then dragging on to this kind of application so i thought maybe can can i use qt to make a 3d viewer can it display this fbx or obj files well it turned out it can so what we needed was so i'll close this so i thought okay let me write a small application to see if i can uh, do something around that part as well so this is what i wrote so this is my application now as i said it is not uh, just just started to work it out now so what i have is uh, an area where you can view the 3d model on the left hand side uh, this is still work in progress by the way you uh, it will show you the list of 
all the 3D models which it has found on the computer, whether from a particular folder or whether from uh, whether whatever it has. I mean, uh, it's similar to the Windows Explorer, by the way. So it will allow you to open your hard disk, go into each, uh, go into those folders, and if you click on a particular model, it should display the model here. So I'm currently displaying Apache model. So let me select something else. For example, what if I drop Shelby here to my application now? So I will drop Shelby. So as you can see, it is here, but it is so minimized. I mean, I, a lot of work needs to be done. What about buggy? So can it be here? Yeah, yeah, here you can see. So, so currently I'm in the process of implementing the user interface. So by default, I mean, I need to implement the keys, the mouse movements and other kind of stuff so that the model looks proper. But the basic structure is there. You have a 3D view area. You have a file area. You can uh, drop your files onto it. What about this one? So let me drop this one. Uh, seems to be doing something. But even if it is not, let us go and select some other... Uh, what about AC Cobra? So let me, I think we've already seen that. Apache, we have seen. Uh, Beetle, is there anything in the Beetle? I think we have seen that as well. Uh, okay. Yeah, here it is, a model called Anna Young. So, yeah, seems to be working, but uh, work needs to be done. This is just, I just created it today. What about castle? Yeah, it's doing something. It's loading up models. Models are being loaded up. Uh, let me show you something else. The, will it load a dungeon? Okay. Yeah, seems to be loading dungeon as well. Here it is. I have different models on my computer. And uh, what, let me try something interesting. Do I have anything interesting? Uh, what about strawberry model? Let's choose a strawberry model. Okay. Here it is. Yeah. So I have a strawberry model here. And uh, yeah, the trick is you drag and drop. So this is a basic application, which is what, which is written in Qt. It uses Qt's QML as well as the traditional wizard, uh, widgets, sorry, widgets as well. So the idea is, as I said, again, explain again, you will see the list of models or the files or folders. You open them up if you want to, or the computer will automatically search all the models for you. You click on them and you will see the model on the right hand side. So no need to go into individual folders on your hard disk and then drag and drop there. Uh, well, I mean, as I said, most of the 3D artists, they don't want to be messing around with files and folders, hierarchies and structures and those kind of things. Well, all they want is uh, show me my models. I quickly want to see uh, what model it is and then I want to use it in my application. I don't want to be going around files and folders and dragging on each and every one and then going through it. Maybe this application also allow you to search for particular models, search for a model with a particular tag or a search for a model with particular what I says or a particular date, those kind of things. So it is, uh, as I said, this is just a work in progress. This is just starting to take shape today. And I thought I'll just share it on my YouTube channel. So what is involved in the code as far as the code goes? What exactly is this blue window? And what exactly is the left hand side here? So let me show you the code. And then I think uh, that should be enough for today. So let me close this application. And let me go to QT's source code. So this is my source code. And all it is simple thing. I have a form on the left hand side is the tree widget, which will eventually display the files and folders hierarchy. And the right hand side is a quick widget. Well, what is a quick widget? Well, this is a widget which you can drop use from here. Q quick widget and it displays the QML file. And what exactly is inside my QML file? Why is it so special? Well, I am just using Qt's, uh, Qt 3D module, which does all the hard work for us. It does all the hard work for us. It is the one which loads the model and displays it for us. So we don't have to do that kind of hard work, but we have to take care of the user interface part. We have to tell this, uh, this, this QML module 
how to display the model, uh, what should happen when you press the minus key, what should happen when you press the plus key, how to rotate the model and those kind of things. So uh, this has the capability to display and uh, display the model in any way you want to make it look more attractive. As I said, this is just a beginning. And uh, that is the basic uh, gist of things here. And uh, yeah, that was the main part here. And what about the main uh, main file? Nothing. We are using OpenGL. That's what it uses to render the model onto the screen. And uh, yeah, so basically that was the part here. I'll again show you the form UI. As I said, this is just a work in progress now. This is the first of the video. If you're interested to follow this, I'll be uploading the source code to my GitHub repository. And then maybe at one point of time, I'll open the repository once this uh, is in a basic state where it can be used by anybody. And then if you're interested, you can download it from there. So I'll just run it again, just for uh, demonstration purposes. And so once it starts with, it starts with this uh, buggy model. And uh, yeah, you can uh, use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and zoom out. And then you can resize. It should resize along with it, along with that. I think it, I think it could be definitely be a useful application, especially for 3D artists. As I said, I mean, currently none of those uh, options are free. I mean, one has to buy a professional product to build a library of 3D models on your computer and let and let you allow you to search based on various criteria. So maybe I thought maybe can we use Qt to do something on that front? It seems we can really. Definitely, Qt is very much useful here. So yeah, this is what this uh, video was about. I hope you enjoyed this short video and I'll uh, up, uh, see you shortly in the next one. Thank you very much for watching my video and supporting my channel. Cheers. Bye-bye.